Nice little burrito for breakfast. They've relegated me to the loser lot up on the corner because I don't drive a Volkswagen, which I think is great. Just in interesting to see the difference. Maybe that Volkswagen used to be like the, the V-dubs, the campers, where they were like in the 70s and 60s is more of a point of rebellion. And now it's a very family-oriented, kind of like salaryman weekender kind of thing to do. There are the odd like full-time travelers and stuff here and there, but for the most part, these are like enthusiasts of any other car club. Cool though. come across. starting to spit rain out there and I'm really glad I'm in my Dodge camper because I have a furnace and I have all my other things that make it very comfortable in here. I just realized that like old Westies and old Volkswagens, they don't even have like heat like when you're running the engine. Man, that's some serious sacrifice for commitment, some serious commitment to ride around in those things. Uh, not sure. I'll have to do more research. I'm, I'm learning a lot about Volkswagens and actually it's really cool. A lot of the design is really, really neat and I'm really getting into it, but uh, certain things it's just nice to have. This van is very luxurious. <laughs> uh, as much as I curse it out sometimes for breaking down or other issues I have, but having like a working furnace, you know, a nice big battery package to work on my laptop for a bit, have some lunch. I got some wicked award-winning chili from Brian and Mamie. So I'm going to be uh, eating that, looking forward to it. Champ's very much looking forward to it. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully the, drain, the rain will go away soon and I'll head back out and see some more uh, Westie stuff and meet up with the crew. Cool. Alright, the deal I made with Brian is if I win this engine that they're going to raffle, I've only bought two tickets, but if I win it, I'm going to do a Volkswagen road tour next. So I'll sell the van out on the west coast, I'll take a Volkswagen bug across Canada. That's the deal. We got a winner, here we go, who wants to verify? Let's play the odds. Four, six, eight, eight, five, four. And when you can discuss. Okay, next up. We're at Buses by the Bridge. We're always uh, really excited to be here. And four, seven, four, one, four, six. Okay. Four, seven, four, one, zero, six. Who? What? Who won it? Okay, ready? I'm gonna do it again. Four seven four one zero six. Got a winner! Got a winner! This is the guy who takes it. Let's go ahead and verify it. Whoa, how many people can you fit in a Volkswagen? Four. Four. Exactly, exactly, exactly four. <laughs> Five and a wet dog. Things that buses by the bridge have wound down significantly due to the rain. Um, I don't know where the Go Van crew really is. I'll find them eventually. <laughs> it's like Volkswagen, nobody has a plan. Everyone's just kind of like, oh, that sounds like a good idea, and they just go do it. I didn't win that engine. So that that's my plan out the window. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day now. I was planning on winning that engine, so. I insinuated earlier this event's really only for like older, richer people and the rebellion's all gone and maybe that's true, but I'm really enjoying it and I'm becoming a little bit of a Volkswagen fanboy, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're just, there's just something about the, the engineering and the, the engine and 
It's just so nerdy and I love it. I don't know. I really wanted that engine. I'll have to figure something out. Some sort of road trip across Canada after I do uh, the Arctic Circle. Something cool. Oh, 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 oh. Similar back to the champ. And I'm gonna cruise her back to the other camp. 